you can copy files from windows into your linux machine uh, via two methods either the cli method or a gui method today i'll show you both the first method is copying from cli it is very quick uh, in windows 10 first of all you need to make sure that ssh client is activated in your windows machine to do that you need to go to start and search optional features like this and click on this app or you can click this manage optional features here you need to search that open ssh client is installed like this if it's not then you can go to add feature and search here open ssh like here it's showing me to install server i don't need a server but we just need a client once we are confirmed with this one then wherever you want to copy the file from let's say i'm in uh, this location this pc documents code as well i'll just type cmd here in the address bar and then press enter then it will take me to this location of the folder here i can see my file already here the one that i'm interested to copy so let's say i want to copy it to my linux machine which is on this address so the command to copy is scp and then the file that you want to copy and the username of the server where you want to copy we see this is our username and this is the ip like this so username at the rate of ip and then you put colon and then what location on your server you want to copy it on so if i put, put this sign it means home directory slash in the home directory i want to copy this file so let's start press enter it asks for password i'll enter my password and it starts copying and there we go the file is copied now let's check if we have received that file in our server so i'll log into my server And if I view my files, let me just do LA, that's it. And here I can see my file is copied successfully. So this is a quick CLI method to copy file from a local PC into a Linux machine. Another, another way is we can copy via a GUI, which is very fast in Windows. So all you have to do is you have to go to your browser and search for the software called WinSCP. And you go to this website winscp.net. I'll add the link in the description and you download from here. Once you've installed it, you have to open the software from start menu. It's called WinSCP. Once you have this interface opened in the login screen, you need to uh, add the credentials to your server. So like I've added it here, I can try to add again just to demonstrate so i'll delete this one and i'll add a new one so here you will put your server uh, first of all the protocol you will choose sftp that is like for ssh and then host you put your server host name port for your server to connect to the ssh and the username and the password and then you click save if you want your password to be saved and not to be prompted for next time you can click this box save password and here you can put the name of your server and press ok and then click login and it will be logged into your server so here if i go to my root folder look my the file that we copied is already there if i delete it and let's try to copy again the quickest way is uh, we can drag and drop so i'll drag and drop to this location and here you go my data is copied successfully i hope it helps thank you for watching